من يتق الله يجعل له مخرجا ويرزقه من حيث لا يحتاج Whoever has taqwa of Allah, whoever becomes Allah conscious, I will make his situation easy for him. You have family problems, Allah says I will make it easy. You're going through a divorce, Allah says I will make it easy. You're having a court problem, Allah says I will make it easy. You have financial problems. قال سبحانه ومن يتق الله يجعل له مخرجا ويرزقه من حيث لا يحتسب. If you have problems financially, Allah says, have my taqwa, become Allah conscious. Love me and remember me and fear me and I will solve it. I will make a way out for you. Imagine this auditorium is blocked like it's all brick walls. If there's a door, makhraj is already there. No one needs to make a makhraj for you. But if there is a door, oh, everything is blocked. Allah Rabbul Izza says, I will tear a way out for you. Yaj'allahu makhraja. وَيَرُزُقْهُ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَحْتَسِبُ And I will provide for you from means you didn't anticipate. One of the beautiful stories that I mention over and over again, there was a person in the past, his name was Hatim al -Asam, and he came to his family wanting to go to Hajj. So he said, um, you know, I want to go to Hajj. Hajj in those days was a long trip, it took many, many weeks and many months. And he said, I want to go to Hajj, but I don't have enough provisions for you guys. So what do you say? So the wife said, Khalas, do it some other times when you have the means. But the, the daughter, the daughter was special. So she said, Dad, Inna Allah huwa al-razzaq al Go, Allah will provide for us. So the dad took heart from this and went. And when he went, a little while later, a couple of weeks later, the provisions ran out. So the mom and the rest of the siblings, like you big mouth, huh? What? What happened? So the little girl went to the back room and she raises her hands and she says, Allahumma anta qulta wa qawluka al-haq wa man yattaqi Allah yaj'al lahu makhraja wa yurzukhu min haythu la yahtasib. Whoever has Allah consciousness, you will find a way out and you will provide from means unanticipated and her hand is in the dua and the door knocks. So, she goes and opens the door and it's the guard of the governor, the, the entourage of the governor. He's, you know, his excellency is crossing through here. He's thirsty. Do you have any water? So she went and got water and made it nice, presentable, you know. They, they took a, and the man took the water, took it to the governor. And the governor drank the water and he found in it delight. Oh Allah Rabbul Izza put delight in it for him. So he drank. And it made him think, where did this water come from? Who did you get this from? So they said, from the house of Hatim. So the famous Hatim, yes, we must go say salam. They said, no, your excellency, he's in Hajj. So he said, then it is our duty to look after his family. So he reached into his, in the olden days, they had those little sacks of, of the coins, you know, with the... So he reached into this, and he chucked it into the house of Hati, the gold coins. But Allah Rabbul Izza wished to increase. So the man looked at his entourage and said, whoever loves me do as I have done. So all the entourage took their purses and chucked it into the house of Hati. And pretty soon gold coins were loitering around on the floor and the little girl started to cry. So the mom said, well, beyond to you, we were poor and dying, you were happy, now money has come, you're crying. So she said, Allah, for an instant, a, a human looked at us with, with mercy and look at what had happened. Imagine if the Dhul Arsh al-Majid and Fa'alul lima yurid were to look at us with an eye of mercy. What would happen?